Member for Kootenay East. Thank you, Your Honourable Speaker, and also welcome to the member from Vancouver, Kralchena. Honourable Speaker, firefighters, paramedics, and law enforcement officers are experiencing traumas and stressors on the job that are unlike those seen in most other occupations. It's not surprising, therefore, that recent research has shown that these workers are at higher risk of mental health injuries. The agencies that employ first responders are tasked with how to best support their mental health, from determining appropriate training for first responders and their managers, to sourcing occupationally aware practitioners, to aiding with recovery and hope through peer support. Six years ago, the BC First Responders Mental Health Committee formed, which is a multi-agency committee representing labour and management from both urban and rural communities. Chaired by WorkSafe BC, the committee is working collaboratively to provide cross-organizational leadership and recommended practices that promote positive mental health for first responders across the province. To date, no first responder organization in BC has fully implemented either the recommended practices from the BC First Responder Steering Committee or the National Standard of Canada for Psychological Health and Safety in the Workplace. The plea from first responders are simply three points. First, employers of first responders implement the 26 recommended practices and resources for employers, supervisors and workers created by the BC First Responders Mental Health Committee and to follow the National Standard of Canada for Psychological Health and Safety in the Workplace. Number two, all first responders receive psychological safety training due to the traumatic exposures they witness throughout their careers. This can be accomplished through policy and regulation as directed by WorkSafe BC and ma mandated to first responder employers. Third and finally, all first responders receive annual voluntary psychological safeguard interviews with an, with an occupationally aware mental health professional. Mr. Speaker, our first responders need to be protected both physically and mentally in their challenging workplace. Thank you.